The Ocean in Your Bathtub by Seth Fishman, illustrated by Isabel Greenberg. Would you do me a favor? Check to see if there's any salt water beneath you. There's not? Hmm, that's strange because the oceans are everywhere. It's true. Five oceans cover 71% of our planet and contain 97% of our water. Almost four out of every 10 humans live within 60 miles of one of those oceans. But even if you don't live near a beach, and instead you live in a skyscraper or on a farm or in the mountains or on a river, the oceans still play an enormous role in your everyday life. Now go take a look out the nearest window. Do you see a cloud in the sky? That cloud, most likely, is loaded with water vapor straight from the ocean. Seawater evaporated into the air and formed the cloud, and now it is drifting over you. Eventually, it will pour down rain, and lots of that rain will trickle back to the ocean to form a new cloud. We call this the water cycle. Some water doesn't return directly to the ocean. It rains or snows down to fill our reservoirs and lakes and rivers. Those, along with underground aquifers, are our major sources of drinking water. The ocean is not a major source of drinking water. It's way too salty. Every plant, tree, and blade of grass is fed by falling water. All our fruits, grains, and vegetables need water to grow, just like we do, and they make up a large part of the food we eat every day. Yep, the ocean's hiding in your afternoon snack. In fact, those crops are only one part of the bounty of the sea. About three billion people rely on seafood to survive. The ocean doesn't just provide thunderstorms and drinking water and food for life on land, we actually breathe because of it too. Even if you are too far from the sea to smell the salt, almost 7 out of every 10 gulps of air you take contain oxygen that comes from plant life in the ocean. A forest of trillions and trillions of tiny plants floats in and on the sea, taking in sunlight and exhaling oxygen. They are like the big breathing lungs of the ocean. Never try to breathe while you are in the ocean, unless you're wearing scuba or snorkeling gear. Of course, humans aren't the only creatures relying on the oceans. Bears, birds, and numerous other animals rely on fish and seafood for their daily diet. Plants do too. Soil along rivers that empty into the oceans is fertilized by fish that swim upriver. That's not even counting the potentially many, more than one million species that live in the oceans. The oceans are full of life and wonder. Sand is formed by rock being smashed over and over again by waves, water, and weather for millions of years. Some of the white sand beaches of Hawaii are made from the poop of parrotfish. Volcanoes and shifting plates of earth called tectonic plates can form new islands and mountain ranges. More people have stepped on the moon than visited the bottom of the Marianas Trench at around 36,000 feet below the ocean surface. The sperm whale's ribcage and lungs deflate, allowing it to hunt for giant squid in dark depths of 7,000 or more feet. Sunlight has a hard time traveling more than 600 feet into the ocean. The Great Barrier Reef is so large it could be seen from space. And just as the oceans affect everyone, everywhere, everything we do affects the oceans. The baths we take, the toilets we flush, the garbage we toss, the balloons we let slip from our fingers. For a long time, no one thought about how much stuff we put in the oceans, or how many fish and other marine life we took out. Sometimes it takes a while to learn from your mistakes, right? So now's our chance, because even the smallest action can do some good. 
That good deed of yours can have a great effect. If everyone does something small to help our oceans, those deeds will ripple outward the same way that streams feed into creeks and brooks and rivers and lakes, all of which eventually flow into the ocean. This ocean of good deeds surrounds us all, bringing everyone and everything together, even you, no matter where you are. So don't worry if you're not visiting the beach anytime soon. The ocean's bound to visit you anyway.